Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony. In today's video, I'm going to share how I got this look and share some super exciting news with you. I'm really excited because I'm working with Eye of Horus. They're a cruelty-free makeup company out of Australia. They have loads of vegan options. You guys have definitely heard me talk about them a lot in the past because I absolutely love their products. And they are sponsoring today's video in which I'm going to share a couple of really exciting things with you. So the first thing in today's video, it actually launches tomorrow, July 10th. It's their brand new brow fiber. This has a couple of seaweed extracts in it. It has castor oil. It has moringa oil. Just some things that are really, really good for your brows to help them grow on their own. So it has this tiny little wand and it is a tinted brow gel and then it has fibers in it. And what the fibers are going to do is stick to your own brow hairs to make your own brows look fuller in a very natural way. This does come in three different shades. What I used is their medium shade, Dynasty. There's one lighter shade and one darker shade as well. And again, this launches tomorrow. July 10th. And another thing that launches tomorrow, July 10th, that I am so, so excited to share with you guys is we're actually doing a Logical Harmony vegan pack with Eye of Horus, where you can get some of my absolute favorite products from them all in one bundle. So it contains the brow fiber because this is great. The Sheba palette, which is one of my favorite palettes from them. It has a kind of champagne shade, a bronze golden shimmery shade, and then a dark purple. It has their liquid defined liner in black, which is one of my favorite liquid liners ever. And what should be of no surprise if you've seen my videos before is the Bio Lash Lift Mascara. This stuff is amazing. And all of that is coming in this adorable makeup purse, which is super handy for carrying on the go, throwing in your purse, and just for travel too. I talk more about all these products throughout the video because this is what I use to get today's look. So you guys are going to see how they perform and how I apply them. And I am just so, so excited to be working with Eye of Horus on this. If you guys wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching. To start, I'm going to take this middle shade, which is called Enchantress, and apply that all over my lid and into my crease. And I really want a really vibrant lid, so I am going to pack a little more color and I'm going to go in with that same shade, Enchantress, and just add a little bit more to the lid itself. Next, I'm going to take this shade, which is called Artifact, and apply that to the inner corner of my lid and use that to highlight my brow bone as well. One thing I really love about these eyeshadows is you can use them dry or wet. I find that they're very easy to work with and do have a lot of pigment when they're dry, but if you wanna really pack in some color, you can go in with the damp brush and that will really, really layer on the color. Just something about the formula of these shadows, they work so well either way and they're so gorgeous. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit more Enchantress and I'm going to apply that to the lid using a damp flat brush. And as you can see, that just kind of takes the shadow up a notch. It just adds a little bit more pigment to it and a little bit more kick. I'm going to go in with the darkest shade, which is Royal Abyss, and I'm going to use a pencil brush to apply that to the outer corner of my eye and blend that into my crease. This is such a gorgeous, vibrant purple. It's just really, really pretty because it's not a flat purple. It has a lot of depth to it and just a tiny bit of shimmer. And I'm going to apply that mostly on the outer corner. And then as I have less product on my brush, I'm going to blend that into my crease. I'm going to go in with the clean brush and just blend out those edges. And I'm going to mirror that same look underneath my eyes. On the outer corner, I'm going to apply Royal Abyss just really close to my lash line. Then I'm going to apply Enchantress to the rest of my lower lash line. For liner today, I'm going to be using the Liquid Define in Black. This is a really, really nice liner, especially if you like a felt tip. It's very, very easy to control. It applies color very evenly and very smoothly. And while I'm using black, this does come in brown as well. And I'm just going to apply that really close to my lash line and then just wing that out a tiny, tiny bit at the end. And for mascara today, I'm going to be using the Bio Lash Lift. This stuff is amazing. It is one of my favorite mascaras. The formula really adds a lot to both lengthen and give volume to your lashes, and it has some natural ingredients in it that can actually help improve the condition of your lashes, which will help them continue to grow long and strong on their own. One thing I really love about it too is this curved brush. It really helps to apply mascara, and I find that I don't need to curl my lashes when I use this mascara because of the shape of the wand. And then today I'm going to be using their brand new brow fiber. This stuff is just about to come out. It has botanical extracts in it that are going to help the condition of your brows and help them grow stronger on their own. It also has moringa oil and castor oil to help with growth and condition as well. So this is like a brow thickening gel. So it has the color in there to really fill in your brows, but then it does have fibers too. This does come in three different shades. I'm using the shade Dynasty today. And Dynasty is like the medium of the shades. There's one lighter and one darker. 
and all of them are, of course, cruelty-free and vegan. And I don't know about you guys, but I can see a pretty big difference with just a little bit of this product. The fibers really cling to my brow hairs and give it a really nice, full, and natural shape. I feel like it just really adds to your brows that are already there. Because this is pigmented, I think it's gonna be great too for people who have sparse brows. It's gonna help fill in those gaps with both the fibers and the color as well. So if you are someone like me where you do have some sparseness in your brows, one thing that can really help is to apply this similar to a mascara. For me, what I find helps is to get closer down to my brows and then kind of wiggle the brush a little as I apply it. That seems to help the fiber stick to my natural brow hairs more. I hope you guys like this finished look. And as a reminder, tomorrow, July 10th, is when the Brow Fiber and the Logical Harmony Vegan Pack are being released. I am so, so excited to share those with you guys. And thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know what you thought of this eye look, and I'll see you in my next video.